the Shenzhou-11 spacecraft will take two astronauts into orbit, nearly 400 kilometers above the Earth. Before docking with the space lab, the Shenzhou-11 will need adjustment to both speed and position. Too fast, it will crash into the Tiangong-2, and too slow, it simply won't make it. The Shenzhou-11 will need every bit of position to lock in with the space lab. Even a tiny deviation could cause the two to fling apart. If all goes well, the two astronauts are to enter the Tiangong-2 through a passage that connects the space lab to the spacecraft. They will stay in the lab for 30 days, while the Shenzhou-11 spacecraft will remain docked. Upon completing their mission, the crew will return with the Shenzhou-11 as it will detach from the space lab and bring the astronauts back down to Earth. China is planning to launch two astronauts in space on Monday. Let's get you more now on that historic launch due in China on Monday. And I'm joined live from Chukwan by CCTV's Wu Lei. Wu Lei, earlier the crew of Shenzhou-11 met the press. Can you tell us more about the astronauts and their preparation work? Hi there. Today, China revealed its two astronauts, which were on board the Shenzhou 11 manned spacecraft to travel to the, to the space. And they are Jing Haipeng and Chen Dong. Jing Haipeng is a senior experienced astronaut, which is, uh, who is known for completing uh, successfully the Shenzhou 7 and Shenzhou 9 mission. And Chen Dong is uh, the first time for him to carry out the uh, China space, station, uh, space mission. Uh, so the two of them, uh, we uh, met the press today and answered some questions. Both of them said they were now in very good physical and mental condition. And uh, Jin Haipeng said in the press conference, and he's really uh, excited and to, to, take, to be the, the, the first Chinese astronaut to, to the third uh, space flight. And he's uh, trained very well and uh, uh, he's also uh, very excited to cope with uh, Chen Dong. And Chen Dong also said he is uh, the one of the second group of Chinese astronauts in 2010, and he was selected as a crew member of the uh, Shenzhou 11 space uh, mission in this room. So both of them said they, are, they will do their best to finish the mission. And now we are standing in front of the Wen Tiange, the apartment building of uh, compound for these uh, astronauts. Actually, every time before uh, the uh, final launch, these astronauts will stay and live here and walk here for some days. Uh, tomorrow morning, there will be a sending off ceremony for these two astronauts. A crowd of people will see them off. Uh, before journeying into the space, they will receive the one last thing uh, that is the best wishes from the whole nation. Back to you. Well, Ule, and what are the major highlights, though, for this mission, and how important is it for China's future space plan? Indeed, the main purpose of this uh, uh, Shenzhou 11 flight, uh, space mission is to finish a middle-term residence in orbit, because we know that from the spokeswoman of China manned space program, Wu Ping, she said that uh, uh, the two astronauts will spend 30 days in the Tiangong-2 space lab, and uh, a number of 14 experiments will be carried out inside the Tiangong-2. Uh, among them, three are from Hong Kong middle students. So uh, in the press conference, all the uh, astronauts are very uh, excited. They said they will try their best to finish all the experiments inside the lab. And also we know that China plans to build its own space station around 2020. So the main purpose of this uh, Shenzhou 11 space uh, uh, mission is to uh, verify that uh, the transport successfully of the men and personnel and uh, as well as material. So this time they will send two astronauts into to dock with uh, Tiangong 2 and also to, uh, to testify the uh, technical of the rendezvous and docking and also return. And also next time in 2017, uh, Tianzhou 1, that is uh, China's uh, uh, space cargo ship, will also be sent to dock with Tianzhou 2 uh, with uh, new.